is Greg Troutwein with Maritime Reporter TV. We're here at North Shipping 2019 in Oslo, and we're very pleased to be joined by Heather Newland of Samson Rope. And Heather, first and foremost, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay. So Heather, it's uh, probably been about a year since the last time we talked about your Icaria solution for the marine industry. Uh, just to start off, want to give us an update. Yeah, so for those of that didn't listen to the last interview, the Icaria solution is really designed um, to help operators um, maximize the service life of their lines, reduce risk, and improve safety in operations. Um, so the program has been out about a year. It's really exceeded expectations for us and gone really well. And it's exciting to see operators um, embracing innovation beyond simply um, the basics of compliance. Innovations and safety. So you say innovations and safety. Do you have any examples? Yeah, the first one that comes to mind is K-Line Shipping in the UK. And they released their care program about a year ago. And really it's, it's pretty cool because what they've done with that program is they've not only made safety a strategic imperative, but made it a part of a cultural transformation at K-Line. So it's cool to see embrace uh, operators going above and beyond. So the OCIMF released MIG for, I believe, about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how has the industry adopted so far? Um, we've really seen a spectrum of uh, responses from operators. So some operators are taking a very well-structured, organized approach. Some people are taking more of a piecewise approach to respond to SIRE observations. Um, and other operators have expressed some confusion about the intent of the guidelines. Um, all that to say, the bulk of the operators that we work with um, are well on their way with having their plans in place. Obviously, we're in a regulatory heavy environment yeah. in all of the marine industry. Mm -hmm. In your specific sector, do you, do you expect continual change? Yes, more changes are on the horizon. Uh, so IMO has been working to enhance safety for many years, and they're currently drafting um, uh, revised guidelines related to uh, mooring system design and the selection, maintenance, retirement of mooring lines and systems. Um, it's likely to continue to serve as a catalyst for changing mindsets um, and increased awareness around safety considerations as it relates to mooring lines and mooring systems. As regulations change, how has this changed the adoption of the area? Yeah, no major changes. So the program was really designed to be customizable, um, modular in nature, so that they could, uh, customers and operators could uh, adopt um, different components at different times as they need them. So um, the tools des are designed to really help our operators stay compliant, um, even beyond their initial steps towards compliance. You know, we're, we're, we're sitting here in Oslo, and 95% of my meetings are on technology, mm -hmm. uh, which is shaping the industry. So how is this technology transition in maritime impacting mooring lines? Yeah, so we're actually seeing some exciting innovations in the space. Um, what we're encouraging operators to do is peel back a few layers as they're considering the various um, various technologies that are that are being released, um, really sort through true economic feasibility, practical implementation, and performance track record, um, so important um, as it relates to mooring lines and mooring consideration. And the last thing to consider is safety at ship design does not nece necessarily equate to safety and operations five years down the road. Um, so with the Icaria program, we collect data, we help customers turn that into knowledge, and then into smart decision making. Uh, okay, so enhanced line management and maintenance can certainly impact safety. How does product selection enter into all of this? Yeah, it's essential, and it's important to look at performance indicators beyond strength alone. Uh, one example of this is Samson really focuses on delivering predictable, reliable solutions. So, for example, a product we, we recently introduced for FSRU mooring, um, Eversteel X, was really designed for enhanced durability, um, reduced abrasion, um, abrasion mitigation and resistance, um, and longer life than traditional lines. So. In addition, on top of all that, there's additional security with the line that we've built into it um, for extra insurance in extreme conditions, so storm conditions. Um, so, I mean, all of that to say, we can work with our customers to provide extra safety insurance um, with, with product selection. To wrap up, it seems like some of the new guidance might lead to a little confusion in the marketplace. And I think that can actually be said about a lot of new technologies that are being implemented. What is your recommendation in this regard? Make sure to understand 
all the key elements that lead to enhanced safety, reduced risk, and, and performance reliability. Mm -hmm. um, don't just listen to claims. Um, look, really look at track records as, as you're considering technology and products out there in the market. Mm -hmm. um, and last, Samson is here to, let, here to help. We're passionate about safety um, and delivering robust, reliable solutions to the market. Okay. Well, Heather, it's a busy show. We appreciate your time as always. Yeah, thanks so much. All right. This is Greg Troutline with Maritime Reporter TV.